Our next guest, who is responsible for that piece you just saw, is one of Israel's most accomplished dancers. Dancing across the globe from Asia to Europe to Africa and Australia, Oded will be putting on a breathtaking yet heart-wrenching performance that shines a light on the tragedies of the Holocaust. Oded's team of dancers will be performing this in Germany. And Oded joins me in studio now. Oded... Thank you, first first of all, for joining me. Now, I understand that this is obviously an extremely important piece of work that you're putting on, as you had a significant number of family members yourself who uh, died in the Holocaust. Now, how important is it creating art like this based on something so personal for you and so close to home? This piece was commissioned by um, a theatre in Saxony in Germany, where my origins are from. Uh, in the beginning, we spoke of doing something regarding roots and only later in the process, about a year later, did I decide to bring the personal story into it. And this is a piece about um, relating to the other, relating to other people in the community and how um, collective insanity can bring us to think that uh, certain people in the society, whether they are uh, Jewish or, for me, gay or Arab uh, can be excluded from the society and how far that can go. So although this is a work that uh, relates a lot to the Holocaust and to my personal story, this is a global work. So uh, my message and my reason for doing the work is a, is a global one. Absolutely, because you're not only your root, you've got German roots. Yes. You're Jewish, you're gay and you're... Other where I'll see what other roots do you have that are all blending uh, into this? Romanian. Yes. Romanian as well. <laughs> it's true. Now, so you've... The, the main message behind this piece, I guess, is that you said... I read earlier that you said that you can't escape your identity or no, your past. Yeah. So explain that to me. Um, we all have... We all have our roots. We all have our identity. We cannot... Uh, we cannot say that we are not part of it. We cannot deny it. I cannot deny any of the above that you mentioned. Um, though I do not have to identify with them mm. if uh, certain parts of society or of history do not relate to what I believe is uh, true, which is really the message I'm bringing here when I perform this uh, towards the German, German people, which is that we can, uh, we can relate to the events that happened from a new place. I personally was not there, even though members of my family were, mm. and the audience that is watching was was not there, mm. though there is a sense of, uh, uh, of victimhood and, uh, and of guilt. And when we, when we meet after the show, we speak for about an hour and we dissipate that. We speak about the future we want to have as humans and, and less about uh, cementing these roles that do not really relate to current times. I feel we should move on from there. Absolutely. I have seen it, seen parts of it, and it's an incredibly powerful piece with an incredibly powerful message. How have, how have those audience members that you've managed to, that you've spoken with after the show and stuff, what have their reactions been? Um, they have been really touched. The show finishes without, uh, without clapping. They, they are led outside of the theatre into the fresh air, so there's no separation between stage and audience at that point. They really feel like it's their story. A lot of them are touched to tears. And then when we come back in, we, we speak on eye level. And uh, a lot of them are, many of them are relieved that uh, we are talking about this subject in, a, in an open way that's not any more accusative from my end. Um, and I, I think a lot of people feel the same, hence there are so many Israelis that live there and visit there. Um, and I, I feel a great sense of relief uh, for me and for them. So if anyone wanted to go see this performance, where and when will it be showing? Uh, it will show in a city named Tzvikau, uh, five dates uh, in March, and then in Plauen, both are in East Germany, uh, two performances in April, and one performance in May, and hopefully uh, we will bring this piece to Israel. We have a few theatres all over the country uh, that are interested in to bring this show in uh, late 2020 or 2021, and then hopefully we can uh, show this to the Israeli people also. Well, if it does come to Israel, I look forward to being part of that audience. Oded Ronan, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you.